What's going on, everybody? David here, back with another video. So we're going to take a look at President-elect Joe Biden. He talks a little bit about the Heroes Act in this uh, le the latest press conference. This was just uh, about an hour ago. And so I want to take a look at it just so we can kind of see where the president-elect is when it comes to another stimulus package. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing right now. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification that way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the uh, press conference. Like I said, this is just a small clip. It's not going to be the, the the whole press conference. I might break it down. I'll look at some of the other stuff. I might break it down and do another video on some of the other topics. Uh, but this one specifically is talking about the Heroes Act. So let's go ahead and take a look. Your plan that you've outlined just now about a million union jobs, clean energy jobs, investments in HBCUs, those are things that take time. We have a problem with long-term unemployment that's growing fast right now. What would you do right away specifically to address jobs that may not return for months, may not return ever, including in communities of color? What I would do, I would pass the HEROES Act. It has all the money and capacity to take care of each of those things. Now. Now. Not tomorrow. Now. In the okay, so I just want to stop really quick. So you see he's on board with the HEROES Act. That's obvious. And so we'll have to see how negotiations go. And are we having Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell? That's what it sounds like as far as negotiating uh, at this point, those are the the people talking about this whole thing. We already know Mitch McConnell does not want to have anything to do with the Heroes Act, either Heroes Act, the first one that was passed uh, back on May fifteenth, or the revised one. He doesn't want to have anything to do with that. But President Elect Joe Biden is interested in the Heroes Act. He wants to continue to go forward with that. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Idea: The president is still playing golf and not doing anything about it. Is, is beyond my comprehension. You'd at least think he'd want to go off on a, on a positive note. But what is he doing? And there's virtually no discussion. And the Republican, we're told, I don't know if there's true. You may know, Senator, but there's 22 Republicans say they won't vote for anything. Well, there ought to be at least, at least a dozen of them have the courage to stand up and save lives and jobs now. And that's amazing to me. And we, we know that 15 to 20, that's, that was the talk before the election, 15 or 20 uh, Senate Republicans didn't want to move forward with another stimulus package. So we, we've been hearing that for a while. Uh, this 22, this is the first time I've heard 22, but that could very well be true. You have some people who just won re-election, some senators just won re-election, and now they might be on, uh, you know what, now I can speak out and say, I'm not for another stimulus package because I don't have to worry about an election for another six years. So, I mean, we could be looking at a situation like that where the numbers start to increase of people who don't want another stimulus package. And it's unfortunate. Some of these politicians, I think they just want to wait it out. We heard about Moderna today and how effective they are when it comes to the vaccine uh, that they're that they're doing trials on. So, you might see some of these politicians is thinking, you know what, we're just going to wait it out. Once we get a vaccine, then a lot of this stuff will just go away. We won't have to provide any additional funding, uh, which, I mean, it, it, it's amazing to me that politicians are thinking this way. We're in a crisis. It, it would be just like if we were at war and you have politicians saying, you know what, I don't want to spend any more money. Uh, we, we, we can't add to our deficit. No, if you're in a crisis, if you're in a war, if you have people dying, you need to take the proper precautions now. Put that money out there. Don't worry about, oh, we're spending too much money. Don't worry about that. You're saving lives. You're saving jobs. That's what you should be focused on at this point, whatever it takes. Whatever money you need to spend, you should be wanting to spend it uh, right now and then worry about paying it back later. And these politicians that are talking about, oh, we need to, we need to save, we need to save, these politicians aren't paying it back. It's going to be the people that have to pay it back. And when you don't have a job, that's when you're getting unemployment. And that's when you're you're taking money from uh, the, the system instead of putting money back into the system. So it's better to jump on it before and not have people, more and more people get laid off or more and more jobs uh, go under and more and more businesses go under. So, I mean, it, it's just amazing to me that we would still have politicians right now 
saying, no, we don't need anything else. Looking at everything that's going on right now with the spike in cases and, and, and hospitalizations and all that, we still have politicians that are thinking, oh, you know what, we, we don't need another package. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. We should be doing it now, keeping those businesses open, providing the PPE, the protective equipment, as well as the PPP, the money that we allow people to get funding to keep their businesses open, everything from separation to testing to a whole range of things that allow businesses to open and stay open. That's what the plan was at the beginning. And by the way, if you notice in the very beginning, when they passed the stimulus program, the first two pieces, what happened? People, businesses were staying open. And then when they weren't open, they were still able to make people able to get paid. But look where they are now. People are running out of unemployment insurance. What are they gonna do? 20 million people are on the verge of losing their home because they can't make a mortgage payments. You have a larger number being kicked out and will be kicked out in the street because they can't pay their rent. And by the way, it's not just the renter, it's the, it's the outfit that owns the building. A lot of them aren't multimillionaires, they're running small operations. How can they do it? This is about keeping Americans afloat. Get them through this pandemic. Get them through where they still, their business are able to come back. The money's there. So you hear President-elect Joe Biden talking about we need it now, we need it now. And you know, I, I would agree, we need something now. Will we get it now? Highly unlikely. I mean, we have, we have Mitch McConnell, we have Nancy Pelosi. Those are the two people now that should be negotiating uh, this whole package. I said this back in June. Mitch McConnell needed to be in the room the whole time. Now, since Mitch McConnell wasn't in the room, you're going to have Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell negotiating, and they're going to have to start from scratch. So starting from scratch, we have a long way to go. And you see President-elect Joe Biden wants the HEROES Act. We know Mitch McConnell doesn't want a HEROES Act. So uh, Mitch McConnell has already indicated that they're, they're working on a new proposal, so we'll see what's in that new proposal. And maybe we might be in a situation where this new proposal might be good enough for right now, and then when President-elect Joe Biden becomes president, then he can work on some other stuff and maybe even executive orders if, if, if that needs to happen. But... Uh, I mean, it, it, it's just, it's so it's it's so unfortunate. And I knew this was going to happen in a lame duck. I knew it was going to happen. I knew you're going to have politicians. You have the White House just stepping back completely. They're not even playing a role when it comes to negotiating anything further when it comes to a stimulus package. We knew that was going to happen. Even when the president was saying, as soon as the election's over, we're going to get a stimulus package done. It shouldn't matter if he won or lost at that point because we're, we're looking at a situation where people need help. And I mean, I, I knew lame duck Congress, if we have a lame duck president, it, it's just not going to work. It, it, it's not. So we might be in a situation where the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, she might have to take whatever's available right now just to, to keep us afloat until we have a new president. And then once a new president comes in, uh, then we can work on some other things. So that's all I have for you guys today. But my question for you is, do you think the HEROES Act is something that we should really be pushing? Should we continue to push that? Should we look at the problem solvers? What 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 do you think is the, the perfect solution to the problem right now? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.